What's up everybody and welcome back to another toy review. Today we are checking out the McFarlane Toys Space Marine Primaris Intercessor. This of course is the artist proof version because I love to paint, I love to model, and I'm a big fan of Warhammer. I've been painting Warhammer for and collecting Warhammer for over 20 years. I'm a big Space Wolf player, well, big Space Wolf fan. I, I can't believe McFarlane Toys has already released Mortal Kombat Toys, my favorite video game franchise and now they're releasing Warhammer toys? Get out of here. This is a dream come true yet again. So thank you, Todd Father, for releasing these bad boys. Ugh. He's so sick. I've been wanting to bust him out of here for so long. He's just been sitting on my shelf for like a while. Look at the size of him. He could bust out of there himself. He's the size of my face. You see how big he is? He's, he's huge. He's a big boy. I gotta pick up the other ones too. I've been actually thinking about like a color scheme. I wanna paint him up. Like I said, he's gonna be a space wolf and I did actually last night uh, finish painting the color scheme that he will actually be. This is the little Warhammer you play on the tabletop. This is the Big Farland Toys action figure. And if you're interested, you can check out my Instagram at Claudio underscore Paola and I will be posting uh, work in progress photos of this guy and a finished product shot of this Space Marine. I've never painted him up before, so uh, this will be interesting. But I have been checking out a lot of a lot of people's work that have painted these guys, and holy, oh my God, they are absolutely insane and beautiful. Now I want to give a big shout out to Frogland Studios. Go check them out on Instagram and definitely follow them. They, they really, really deserve it. They make amazing customized Space Marine intercessors and assault intercessors using these McFarland Toys action figures. They, they paint them in different chapter colors from the game. And you know what, just go over there, show them some love. I've shown them some love. They, they have inspired me to actually do this. That Their work is that incredible. So yeah, go over there, follow them, check them out. Oh, I love you, I love you. Oh, space, space Marine. Space Marine. Now playing around, let's check them out. And here we have the McFarland Toys Space Marine Primaris Intercessor. You can see how big this figure is by the sheer size of the box. And let's take a look at my hand comparison. It's pretty big. So let's take a look at the box here. You have your standard window packaging here. You can see the Space Marine himself with his gun and his backpack. Easy Warhammer 40,000 in the new text of 9th edition. McFarland Toys, you have, you know, some artwork over here with a servitor. And then you go to the back of the box and you have some product shots of the artist proof version that we have here and as well as the assault intercessor down there i do not have the assault intercessor uh, not yet anyway i'm thinking about getting him simply because i love the assault intercessors in the game i have tons of them and a necron warrior these are actually necrons are actually the first army i've ever collected in warhammer so i actually really really want to get my hands on that necron and paint him up the color scheme I uh, originally started. Now, he doesn't come in the artist proof, unfortunately, but uh, that's an easy paint job. Then there's actually other figures that McFarlane Toys are coming out with, including the Sisters of Battle. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pick that one up. And then on the side here, you have another product shot of just the Space Marine himself. So it looks like easy packaging. We shouldn't be too hard to bust out so long as you have a Leonardo Katana Blade. Holy! I did forget to mention how heavy this guy is. Love this. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, and there we go. We got the main figure out. Oh my God, he's so cool. That's so sick. How on earth is this handle supposed to fit in this tiny little hand? That looks like it's going to break. You know what, the plastic's pretty malleable actually, so that's a good sign. Hey, this toy is sick. And there we have it. We have the Space Marine Primaris Intercessor out of the box, and he is absolutely amazing looking just by first glance. I, I put his backpack on. You saw me earlier struggle putting the bolter into his hand. I was afraid of the fingers snapping or something, but luckily the plastic is really malleable to the point where you can actually uh, kind of move it around and uh, put it in there. No sweat. So don't worry about breaking this toy. He, he's definitely not going to... Uh, disappoint 
All right, first things first, let's see how tall he is. I have my measuring tape here. This is actually the same one I used for a hammer, so that's cool. He's standing at a mighty seven and a half, almost eight inches tall. All right, now let's take a look at the sculpt and the overall details. You know what, if you know what a Space Marine Intercessor looks like, you know that this is quite spot on. I wasn't actually aware that uh, they have the little pouches in the back here, which is amazing. You couldn't see them when they were in the box, so I actually didn't know he had them. He doesn't have any grenades, but that's okay. That's something that you can easily model in there. And if you have a 3D printer, then this figure is a dream come true for you. You can just print whatever you want and just toss it on there. I know personally, when I create my Space Wolf, he is going to have a lot of customized uh, parts. He probably won't even have this head, to be honest. I might replace his head uh, and replace it maybe with a Thor head or a, a head and then sculpt some crazy beard or something on there and maybe put this helmet on the side. The first thing I noticed on this figure is the angel wings here. It's so beautiful. It's very iconic for a space marine. And uh, you can see all the... The underlying, the, the under armor here looks absolutely amazing. That's, that's an issue. Uh, his boots looks amazing. Look at the detail back here. The detail is spot on to an actual intercessor figure. I cannot believe that. That is wild how perfect he actually looks compared to an actual uh, space marine. You have some nice details on the gauntlet here. You have the, the, the buttons and the, the, the Auspex scanner over here. You got nice details in the actual gloves. Nice little uh, detail here. Nice detail with the backpack strap here going underneath. Just so much. You can actually take this backpack completely off and you're gonna wanna do that if you do plan on painting this one, which I plan on doing just so you can get some nicer paint details in there and maybe paint those separately. So that's good that this comes off. Uh, very, very happy with that. Actually, yeah, you can see the pouches look really, really nice there. I honestly, at first glance, thought the backpack was just a little bit too small. To, in, in my in my opinion, in my liking. I think it's a little too small for a Space Marine. Also, it does stick out quite the fair amount here. It doesn't look like it sticks that much out on an actual figure. That's okay. That's just me nitpicking about those details. You can see actually some details in the backpack up here, which is really cool. Looks really nice. You have your nice armor flaps here. It looks really good. The boots are just phenomenal looking. You don't have any of the details underneath. You do have the whole pegs for the stand. I did remove him off the stand because it's just easier. It's actually really hard to put him on the stand to be honest. That's why I had to get rid of it. But overall, I'd say that the sculpt looks spot on to an intercessor. Like exactly. Let's actually take a look at the bolter because the bolter is very, very detailed here. The purity seal looks absolutely beautiful there. I love that little detail. I'm really glad they decided to stick that right there. You got the Warhammer wings here, of course, and you have a nice scope. You could see the little glass inside there, which looks really nice. The gun looks really good. You don't have a little trigger in there, which is really weird, but that's okay. Uh, you're probably not gonna see it in his hand anyway. The clip looks really nice. Overall, gun looks very detailed. It's the models come to life. That's what this figure is. It's the model come to life, and that's exactly what we want in our Space Marine action figure. Yeah, you can see how malleable the hand and the fingers are. It's not, it's honestly never gonna break. It's, it's, the, it's a really good plastic. I'm very impressed. All right, let's move on to some articulation here. Let's start from the bottom up. Let's check out his legs here. You have your ankle joint moves up and down. Not too much actually, but enough. Uh, it doesn't pivot left or right. It's just up and down, which is okay. Is that a double knee joint? Oh, it is a double knee joint. Look at that. So that's sick. You can actually really get him running and kicking. You'll never see a Space Marine do that, but uh, it's nice that they have that much articulation in the knee. Uh, you can't really spread his legs out too much. You can't do the splits on this figure. Again, Space Marines, you'll never see one do the splits. The movement does get hindered a little bit by the armor plating right here, uh, but that's that's no big deal. I mean, again, you're, <laughs> you're never gonna see a Space Marine do splits. So, all right, moving on up, you have the torso swivel. You have actually two swivel points right here. You actually have this mid point, this mid section here, uh, which you can move left and right, which is really cool. You can move that, oh, hard to see, but you can move it left and right. And then you can actually move the top part. So you can actually see how it looks kind of weird if, uh, He's looking in all that direction. It kind of overlaps, but that's exactly what would happen in Space Marine armor. So it's no big deal. Uh, he can move up and down fairly well, which is really nice at the torso. 
Oh, that's really, really nice. And not to mention, he's moving really easily out of the box. He's not super stiff like those Mortal Kombat figures were. Let's move on to his shoulders. You don't, oh, see? Uh, you have his shoulders, can't move that far up because of, well, his massive shoulder blades, right? It wouldn't be a Space Marine if he didn't have massive shoulder blades like this, shoulder pads. Can't wait to put some decorations on there. There's so many possibilities that you can do with these figures. It's absolutely insane. You have the swivel in the bicep, which is really, really good. You could rotate it 360. It is a double elbow joint, so you can move it quite far, just as, as far as you would need to move them, right? Even on this side looks good. And of course you have the hand swivel, rotate it 360. Now I just want to mention you don't have the toe flexibility. There's no cut there, which I'm absolutely okay with. All right, now let's take a look at his head. It does move 360 and has a little bit of movement up and down. Not a lot though. You can't like make him look straight up to the sky or down to his feet. You do get that articulation in the torso so you can actually get him to look up, which is really, really convenient, really nice. Now there's no articulation in the backpack whatsoever, but hey, that's cool. And that's about it for articulation. Overall, like you can actually feel and see, he's almost like a bobblehead. You, you can see how loose he is, which is not bad. This is actually really, really nice uh, for, for anyone that's going to be painting him because you can actually really get in there. To be honest, I would prefer to be able to like pop these arms and body parts off so you can paint him separately separately but that isn't the case here not even with the head not even with the arm i don't even want to try with the hand i don't want to break this guy he's really really nice no articulation in the bolter but that's totally fine and uh that's about actually it uh for articulation here and now let's talk about the accessories well this is the only one he has and he has this stand here but we're going to keep him off this stand. I do love the nice Warhammer 40,000 logo there. It looks very, very cool. Like you've already seen before, guys, it does pop out if you're going to be playing with them. Again, this isn't really like a figure toy you want to be playing with, despite being able to play with him really, really nicely. It, honestly, if I was a kid and I loved Warhammer, I would be playing with this guy all day. All right, let's talk about the paint job here. Well, he's done, he's gray. He's not supposed to have any paint on him because this is, of course, the artist proof version. I will be applying paint and making him my own looking space wolf. And you can follow that progress on my Instagram at Claudio underscore Paola. Uh, so come and check that out from time to time. I, I will be posting on there i cannot wait to be honest to be posting uh photos of this guy now this figure is basically flawless in my eyes minus the fact that it's very very hard for him to hold the bolter without it falling out i mean it's it is possible for him to hold it but you know like any hard play will actually knock it out again not like the doom slayer but you know it is very uh very sensitive but you know what he is an amazing model an amazing figure that you can just have so much fun with I've wanted a Space Marine toy for uh, the better part of 15 years. <laughs> like, I really wanted one. And of all companies to make these toys, it's McFarlane Toys. And I'm, I'm so happy. Like, they, they kill it with everything that they do. And this is just on top of the cake for me. Probably one of my favorite McFarlane Toys figures of all time, to be honest. Like, I love this figure. Just looking at him. So again, the only gripe I have with this figure is the bolter itself. Other than that, it's amazing. I wish it did come with more accessories actually, like grenades, maybe a combat knife. Would have been super sick to have a combat knife. Uh, maybe an Auspex scanner that he could be holding. Something. Give him something else. Even an alternative head would be nice, like a helmetless version would be really cool. Maybe some accessories for the bolter. This is definitely the auto bolter, but there's different guns that look very similar in the game. You know what? You can customize and, you know, do it yourself if you really want to. So it's not the biggest deal, but again, more accessories, the better. Now let's put an actual figure right beside him for size comparison. This is the McFarland Toys Scorpion from Mortal Kombat 11 figure. So very similar in height. Uh, but you can tell that the Space Marine is much bulkier. These are the two toys I've wanted in my life for well, my entire life. Let's be honest. I love Mortal Kombat and I started collecting Warhammer when I was about 10 years old. So let's just say a long time. All right, everyone, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a like. Comment down below 
Tell me what you love about this figure. Do you have this figure? Will you be converting your figure or the Assault Intercessor? Or if you have the Necron, are you going to be converting that one? Have you repainted it? I just want to know what you guys are going to be doing with your Space Marines and your Necrons. And soon, your Sisters of Battle. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel if you're into toy reviews. I'll be pumping out a lot more this year. That is the goal of 2021, to unleash all my toys. Guys, I have a massive shelf full, and I can't wait to unbox them for you all. Thank you so much for watching, and you can catch me in the next one.